Welcome to another Tan at 10. We have a special week planned this week, and it's going to be a week where we just share personal stories of God's faithfulness. And I just have someone fabulous with us today. This is Esther East. And um, Esther, um, we've known each other for some time, haven't we? Yeah, yeah quite a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Esther attends Light the Bay Church. And Esther, do you know about how long you've been attending there? Oh, 20 years or more. <laughs> a long time. A long time. A long yes. time. Well, that's awesome. Longevity is always good, isn't right. it? Right. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Well, Esther, we're talking this month about God's provision and just how God is a good God. He's a good father. Yes, he is. And how he provides for us financially. And um, we're also talking about generosity and just how God blesses us and how God takes care of us. And so, Esther, I just wondered if you could share a little bit of how you've seen God's faithfulness in this past year or so, even um, during the shutdown, possibly. So could you share just a little bit of your story? Well, yeah, you know, God has just been wonderful to me during the the COVID my, I, I always say that wrong, but no, during fine. that time, uh, I, I never worried about anything. Uh, when uh, I was short on money when it first started, and after that, I never, I never worried about it because mm -hmm. it was there when I needed it. Mm -hmm. My kids didn't have to stay home and not be able to work. Mm -hmm. And you know, God is just so good. He, he. He, you don't even have to ask sometimes. Mm -hmm. He already supplies it before you ask because he knows what you need. He does. And, he uh, does. you know, he likes you to ask too. But sometimes I know I looked at my checkbook once. I had a bill I had to pay mm -hmm. and there was the money. I didn't know where it came from, but it was there. God it was supplied. There. there was always a supply. There's something about trusting the Lord with our finances, isn't there? Oh, yeah. That the supply is always there when we, when we need it. And we can just rest in that. I learned a long time ago to quit worrying. Hmm. It took me a while to learn, but I don't worry about the money anymore. I know God's going to supply it hmm. one way or the other. Amen. And uh, there's... Uh, little things I worry about that are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so you working on that too? <laughs> I'm working on that too. <laughs> oh, oh. But, uh, you know, the kids tell me, don't worry, mom, it's going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, and it is, it works out the way it, it should be. Yeah. Yeah. Esther, is there any particular time either during the shutdown or maybe even um, another time in your life where maybe there was an unexpected bill, some an unexpected expense, where you just saw God's provision um, in a supernatural way. Yes, there was one uh, a while back. I got a, an unexpected bill for four hundred and eighty nine dollars. You know the amount. Wow, that's <laughs> yes, pretty good. I that's pretty good. Uh, and I didn't know how I was going to pay it. But before my husband died, I said, "What are we going to do?" He says, "I don't know." I said, "Well, I could send twenty five dollars to him. Maybe that'll keep him sure, quiet for sure, a while." Sure. But the next week, I got a check in the mail for four hundred and eighty nine dollars. Are you for the exact amount? Exact amount. Oh my goodness. That's and, amazing. And I said, where did this come from? And, and my husband said, I don't know. And I got to looking, and, and it came from an insurance policy that I took out when I was working. Wow. That they send you money a certain time of, of the year, and there was the money that I needed to At pay just that the right bill. time. At the right time. At the right yes. time. Um, Esther, do you know how long ago it was? Or in other words, when this happened... Had you taken out the insurance up policy a long time before that? Yes, yeah, a long time be when I, wow. while I was working. Wow. And I was already retired when, when this came. Wow. And uh, my husband was retired also, and so we were really on a, on a close budget. Sure. But uh, it came, it came in the mail. I had no idea that it would, and I called them and asked them why they sent it, and they said, well, it was a law that when you had money like that in an insurance policy, they you they had to send it to you uh, a certain amount of it and uh, at least once a year unless you mm -hmm. called them and and drew some out. Sure, sure. So I had no idea about that. It was That's a amazing. surprise to me. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. I love the fact that you had taken out the policy a long time before. 
but even, you know, there's, we've been talking about Jehovah Jireh and how he is, a, he's the God who sees. Yes. And he saw in advance that Esther would have a need and made the provision through this policy that she had taken out some time before. And that's just how God is. He sees our lives. He sees in advance what we're going to need. And as we put our lives in his hands, right. he takes good care of us. And he causes the um, the monies and the funds to be there when we have need of them. So, yeah, Esther, that's, that's a marvelous story to just hear about that. And how exact God was in the situation. Yeah, right, right at, at, at the situation. And my husband said, what are you going to do with it? I said, I'm going to pay the bill. <laughs> yes, good, good idea. Good idea. She she dealt with the money in a, in a wise right. way as well. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's awesome. Well, Esther, that is wonderful. Is, is there a particular scripture, Esther, that you found that when you need to encourage yourself about finances or about God's provision that you go back to? Well, there's one in Philippians that I always go to that says that God will supply your needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I always hang on to that because uh, instead of worrying, I think about that scripture. God's going to supply my needs. Amen. Quit worrying. Yeah. It makes you old. <laughs> it makes you old. Oh, no. <laughs> and we don't want that, no, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Well, Esther, thank you so much for sharing with us during this time. And uh, we just want to just encourage you to just stay tuned each day of this week where we just we share personal stories of how God is the provider and how he's a good father and um, how he takes care of us. He takes care of us in grand style. Yes, he does. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.